The, the world is coming to an end. When the earth mercifully stopped shaking, an ominous cloud of dust and smoke blanketed the capital of Port-au-Prince. When it settled, about 20 minutes later, it revealed nothing but misery. All you could hear, according to witnesses, was the sound of victims wailing. People trapped under chunks of concrete everywhere. Street after street in ruin. Some buildings burning, many others collapsed. Even the presidential palace came down, no match for the massive quake and its trailing aftershocks. All of a sudden, everything was just falling apart. These people lived through the nightmare. Their Miami-bound American Airlines flight was the last one to leave Port-au-Prince, taking off about 90 minutes after the earthquake hit. Passengers described the devastation they left behind. People were crying and, you know, the roof, like the ceiling was falling and there was no place to hide. The whole building was cracked down. I mean, it looks like a building that they need to build from point A to point to Z right now. Are you talking about the airport? The airport. I mean, it's, it's really you... cracked up. The condition of the Port-au-Prince airport could be key to relief efforts today. Urban search and rescue teams, like this one in Fairfax, Virginia, waiting into the early morning hours for clearance to deploy to Haiti. We're able to break reinforced concrete and do technical search, which means sound and video and all that. So we'll have, we'll have our fullest capability with us to go. John Roberts, CNN, New York.